everyone, this is Natasha with a new tutorial for FriendlyDrupal.com and I'm really excited about today's tutorial because we're going to talk about CSS3 and I'm sure you've heard about all these new exciting um, capabilities of CSS3 such as rounded corners, shadows and gradients and you can see here just a simple example I've done um, using uh, Bartik, the new core theme for Drupal 7. Actually, it's just a copy of Bartik, but anyway. So I got all these three features here. Uh, rounded corners, full borders, uh, shadow, and um, a gradient for each of the boxes, for each of the blocks. And these many items are rounded by default. And this is all great, except that it's not going to work in Internet Explorer, uh, up and including uh, version uh, now version 9 is supposed to support CSS3 but um, still in the future at this moment. So this is Firefox and this is Google Chrome which is a WebKit browser and of course Internet Explorer doesn't work as expected. And you can see the menu items here are also kind of blocky. So what you're gonna do? Well I don't know about you but I try to keep things simple. So I wanted to find a solution that didn't involve more separate stash or browser hacks or even JavaScript. And that's when I came across CSS3 Pi. And you can see the demo right on the front page. So if I click Enable Pi, yeah, you can see it's working in Internet Explorer. And it's really surprisingly simple. So let me click on Show CSS. What it does you just add this line to your CSS declaration, uh, which points to the HTC file that you download from this website, preferably into your into the directory with your CSS files. Download is right here. And I have already downloaded this file, so uh, now I just have to add the required line to the CSS like this. Now the tricky part about Drupal is that you have to specify uh, the full path to this file in your CSS declaration. Uh, usually it would be something like um, sites sites all themes then the name of your theme and any other directory use. Okay, let's check it. You can see it's working. Great. The only thing that's missing is the gradient overlay. Um, well, you just have to add this line here. Just one more line to fix that. Okay. Okay, let's refresh. Okay. Awesome. So, as promised, easy as pie, pardon my pun. And if you want to know more about CSS3 pie, you can check the documentation on the official website, um, special supported CSS3 features. There's actually more. Um, for example, um, Pi supports multiple background images. Really nice feature. Oh, and don't forget to clear your cache if you use any sort of CSS compression or you want to see the updates. And also remember that Internet Explorer can't see more than 31 CSS style sheets. So I guess we have to say thank you to CSS3Pi.com and the folks that have made it uh, for making CSS3 features available to Internet Explorer users. This was Natalie for FriendlyDrupal.com. Until later!